Now, uh, the question said that you have to discuss. So, what you need to do is you need to uh, tell about the various changes, the uh, you know, various ways in which drugs. Hello everyone, uh, in the previous uh, you know, videos we have discussed about uh, the previous year question papers with respect to the topic of learning in psychology optional. I have discussed in the questions in uh, 2018. This time I am going to discuss the question uh, that came in 2017. So the questions were uh, very dynamic and um, one of the important aspects of the question was that uh, uh, they had uh, you know a lot of uh, dynamic aspect and also they were trying to question whether you were able to relate um, the static portion uh, with respect to the application part or not right so let's begin okay now the first question in 2017 was that uh, drug addiction a uh, drug addiction is just a maladaptive behavior now like other behavior it can be easily changed so uh, if you see it is uh, you know the question is asking you about what learning because they are saying that uh, behavior can be easily changed now behavior changing is uh, determined by what learning so uh, one thing is clear that the question was about learning fine now moving further they said drug addiction is just a maladaptive behavior. Now, what you need to do is that you need to first understand what is maladaptive behavior. So, any kind of behavior which uh, you know affects the daily functioning of uh, a person is known as maladaptive behavior. So, that affects the daily routine daily functioning of the person is considered as what maladaptive behavior now they are saying that uh, which which maladaptive behavior they have focused they are focused on drug addiction so if a person is a drug addict right the question is asking can this behavior be changed so here what they are saying is that uh, can this behavior can behavior be changed by learning right so uh, let's see how it is now firstly you need to understand that uh, what are the issues that uh, you know drug addiction brings in so here you will find that uh, the person might be psychologically psychologically very disturbed biologically addicted and even though the body uh, you know even though the person is uh, trying to get out of this drug addiction but what is happening is that is the time of relapse so what is happening is that this phase you know uh, where the person is uh, even attempting to get rid of this addiction there is a moment of relapse also right now uh, the question said that you have to discuss so what you need to do is you need to uh, tell about the various changes the uh, you know various ways in which drug addiction um, you know is affecting the body for example i told you about biological addiction i told you about um, psychological disturbance and i told you about relapse right so what is happening is now what you have to tell is that if if we want to change this behavior of drug addiction that is true learning whether is it possible or not so of course uh, you know uh, what what are the ways so first definitely you can talk about uh, classical conditioning that means uh, 
trying to make an environment which boost what trying to bring in the environment which boost the you know uh, this effectivity of uh, changing the behavior boost the effectivity fine second is uh, operant conditioning now what is operant conditioning operant conditioning you can talk about uh, rewarding the per person you know once uh, they are trying to make an attempt uh, to uh, you know bring change in their uh, this addiction behavior and other thing you can also talk about uh, negative punishments right why because we want to bring in the change in the behavior of the person fine other than that uh, you can also uh, go for uh, you know various social learning theories why because uh, there you can um, go for various motivational videos you can also go for um, you know the people who have attempted this uh, doing in the past and they have came with effective results because definitely there were people who uh, you know went through these kind of abuses but then uh, they came out uh, very um, you know nicely from their addiction so for that reason you can go for social learning theory also fine okay so classical conditioning operant conditioning social learning theory okay now other than this what we can um, you know write since the question is asking about discussion so uh, other things what you can uh, go for is for example you can talk about uh, other dimensions that we can talk about is uh, support mechanism that is coming from friends and family Uh, second thing you can uh, also talk about what certain kind of mental aptitude tests that means uh, making the person mentally very strong because if once they have uh, taken it that I have to leave it that means there is no alternative that means I have to so support mechanism mental aptitude test then you can also go for uh, CBT that is cognitive behavioral therapies fine so uh, you can elaborate more but uh, this was just a brief discussion that how you have to attempt the question what are the aspects that you have to cover in the questions how you are going to write it how you are going to present it then uh, um, which part meant what etc fine so i hope so this question is clear now the second question is distinguish between negative reinforcement and punishment do you think punishment is an effective way to modify behavior fine now what is negative reinforcement and what is negative punishment Now they said what negative reinforcement and negative punishment. Now negative punishment, negative punishment what is happening is that you are removing pleasant stimulus to decrease the behavior of the person fine and negative reinforcement is what you are adding 
unpleasant stimulus to increase the behavior of the person. Now, if I go with an example, uh, in my previous videos, I have uh, talked about, for example, uh, if it is about negative reinforcement, then if there is a cranky sound, if a person does not, uh, you know, wear the seat belt. So, cranky sound is like adding the unpleasant stimulus. So, cranky sound, if uh, the person is not wearing seat belt. Fine. Now, uh, in negative punishment, what I am saying is that you are going to remove the pleasant stimulus. So, for example, if a person is uh, very much an admirer of uh, music and uh, you remove the sound case system, the sound system. So, what you are doing is that you are removing the pleasant stimulus. So, sound system from car if again the person is not wearing the seat belt. So, uh, firstly, you need to explain the difference between negative reinforcement and a negative punishment. Now, then they said that do you think punishment is an effective way to modify behavior? That means uh, whether punishment should be there or shouldn't be there and is it going to bring any uh, good thing or good changes in the behavior? So, understand what I said was that uh, punishment is brought in to change the behavior of the person and that is also two types. One is your uh, positive punishment and one is your negative punishment. Now, they said that is it effective? So, you have to mention what both the, uh, you know, good part also and the bad part also. So, if I go with the, you know, positive and uh, both the negative aspect also. So, what is going to happen is that you are going to talk about the positive ways or the positive, uh, you know, uh, things that a punishment is going to bring in. So, what are those positive things? Firstly, there will be change in the behavior of the person. So, what is going to happen is the person or the child will learn what good habits. Fine. Other than that, what is going to happen is that right at an early age, the, uh, the child will get conditioned for, uh, you know, right and uh, wrong things. Then what is going to happen is that once the punishment, positive punishment is there, what is, uh, you know, it is going to bring a long term result or long term impact. Fine. What could be the negative uh, side of the punishment? See, the child might be a get, uh, you know, become a rebel. Why? Because... Uh, they won't understand, uh, you know, what is right for them, what is wrong for them. So, they might consider it uh, as, uh, you know, uh, something which is uh, unwillingly forced on them. So, that way they might turn out to be a rebel. They might turn out to be very aggressive. They might accept the punishment for short term. for short term, but long term, but long term, they might not, uh, you know, they might not go for that kind of behavior, fine. There are many more things that you can discuss. However, I had to discuss majorly about negative reinforcement and negative punishment so that uh, this aspect is clear that what is the difference between negative reinforcement and negative punishment because most of the time, um, you know, while we are attempting the paper, we are little bit confused between negative reinforcement and negative punishment because they turn out to be somewhat similar. Now, the next question, okay, so in this question, what, uh, what is the question asking you in uh, 2017? How would you apply operant conditioning techniques? So, operant conditioning techniques for toilet training a three-year-old boy. Now, operant conditioning is what? So, what you can do is first you need to explain what is operant conditioning. You need to talk about reinforcement. You want to talk about or you need to talk about punishments. discuss both the positive and negative, discuss both the positive and 
fine now they say that for toilet training a 3 year old boy so a 3 year old boy now operant conditioning for a 3 year old boy so what you can do over here is that uh, first let's talk about reinforcement positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement so positive reinforcement what we are going to do is that we are going to reward the child to encourage the behavior fine then what is going to happen what is positive punishment now um, see uh, try avoiding harsh punishment so what you can uh, do is that uh, you can introduce uh, see for three year old it's uh, you know introducing harsh punishment is not something fine but uh, you what you can do is that you can go for uh, removing certain um, pleasant activities like uh, removing uh, toys and all so what is going to happen for that uh, for, for a three year old, old child it is a big thing so removing uh, you know pleasant things so why because uh, no harsh you know punishments should be used so removing pleasant things i think that would suffice in uh, positive punishment now when it's about uh, negative reinforcement what you can do is so you can uh, you know remove unpleasant uh, conditions so um, removing the unpleasant conditions well there is not much that could be written but uh, what you can do is that you can explain this and you can write um, you know point wise and uh, you know entire aspect so what can be done is that uh, you can effectively come for a good answer here okay so removing unpleasant condition it uh, could be like removing wet dappers and all wet diapers and all. fine Okay, so this was for 2017. Thank you so much. In uh, the another video, I will uh, come with uh, the later year's papers.